you're becoming quite a celebrity. Why is he writing to you? If you are justice, please do not lie. What is the price for your blind eye? The hell are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This is going to be my video for the Batman trailer. They just released a DC fandom. It is hardcore. There's a whole bunch of Easter eggs. They talked a lot about what's going on in the movie, what his version of Batman is going to be like, how it's different from other versions. So we'll break it all down. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. There's a bunch of DC movie trailers that they dropped this weekend. I'll be doing videos for everything. I'm also doing a giveaway for a giant box of DC Fandom merch that the DC people sent me. So all you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave your favorite moment from this trailer on the video. I'll just start at the beginning of the footage and go through shot by shot. They open with the new red DC Movies logo because the official logo of the movie is red. It seems like red is a very important color during the movie. There's a bunch of extended scenes during the trailer where everything goes red. Usually that's a metaphor for blood, but it can mean a lot of things for the story and the characters. The footage starts with a scene of the Riddler binding up his victim and leaving clues for the Batman that Gordon and the police the FBI find later, after which Batman shows up in costume at the crime scene to work with him. They explain that this is going to be Batman Year 2, confirmed, but as you can see from a lot of the designs and a lot of the gear, it still gives off a very Batman Year 1 comic book vibe. Like the Riddler, for example, is not wearing a question mark bedazzled green jacket or a top hat. He doesn't seem very silly. And the movie feels even more real world, down dirty and hardcore than Christopher Nolan's Batman Dark Knight trilogy. And the whole thing with the aesthetic of the Christian Bale Batman was that they were asking the question, what would Batman be like in the real world? So they tried to make everything feel very real. Like what would it actually be like if a billionaire decided to spend his money to fight crime as a vigilante? And from the overall look of the movie and the song that they put on the trailer too, the song they chose to use was Nirvana's Something in the Way. That'll probably give you guys flashbacks to the 90s. New Batman movie with Robert Pattinson seems like it's going to be even more crazy and hardcore than previous Batman movies. Matt Reeves did say it was meant to be more of a detective movie, like a gritty neo-noir crime thriller, world's greatest detective Batman, as opposed to say Ben Affleck's larger than life, big action heavy Justice League Snyder cut Batman. The Riddler leaves his message, reading no more lies as he starts to leave clues like comic book Riddler. The lies that he's referring to probably have something to do with the current district attorney played by Peter Sarsgaard, who claims that his character is a very, very bad man in the movie who lies, falsifies evidence in order to convict criminals. So it seems like the Riddler is actually trying to deal out what he feels like is his own brand of vigilante justice. Like part of the voiceover message in the trailer says, please do not lie. And then you look at the newspaper clippings of the district attorney's cases that he's won in court with lies written in red all over them. You get a much better look at the new Batman costume as it's going to appear in the actual movie as he walks in to investigate the crime scene with Gordon. It seems more like riot gear that he's converted and modified, like he's wearing normal thick boots that you could buy at any regular store on the street. Really cool Batman comic book Easter eggs that'll freak some of you guys out. In this greeting card that he leaves Batman, there's a Halloween themed owl on the cover. That's one, a huge Easter egg for Batman The Long Halloween, which the movie is largely based on. It's a big whodunit murder mystery story involving all of Batman's biggest villains. And the owl is a big Court of Owls Easter egg. I don't know if the actual Court of Owls are going to be featured during this first movie, but I think this is meant to foreshadow them as villains in the future Batman sequels, like the Joker playing card from Batman Begins, heralding his arrival in the next movie. 
The people that made the Batman Arkham series also just made a brand new Batman game called Gotham Knights and the Court of Owls are the main villains of that new game. The gauntlets that Batman has on his armor also kind of seem like the gauntlets that the Court of Owls talons wear too. I dig all the rhyming that Jeffrey Wright does as Gordon during the trailer footage just reading the Riddler's message to Batman. It's the Riddler that's doing all the rhyming. Gordon is just reading the message to him. This person leading the press conference for the police seems like he's the current police commissioner who I believe is meant to precede Gordon. Like he might be part of this whole Riddler subplot about him trying to take out corrupt district attorneys and possible corrupt police officers, paving the way for Gordon to become commissioner in the eventual sequels. This footage of Batman without his cowl on watching something from a distance. This is him riding up in a motorcycle to watch this police address to the press. This is a scene of him riding through the graveyard we saw the behind the scenes footage of earlier this year with his stunt double. We also get the voiceover from Andy Serkis's Alfred joking about Batman becoming something of a celebrity. I feel like every version of Alfred in a Batman movie has had a version of a scene like this with their version of Batman. Then there's him riding into his back cave. So the way they cut this scene implies that the entrance to the back cave is in the cemetery or he has to drive through the cemetery to get to it. That is hardcore. But as you can see around the back cave, it's way more sparse than Ben Affleck's back cave, just for example, or other Batman's back caves. That's just because it's Batman year two. He will accumulate trophies over time, I'm sure, more vehicles, maybe even a giant penny or a dinosaur at some point. This is a scene of the Riddler sending another message for Batman, leaving him another clue, but he's there as Bruce Wayne, so he saves this little kid from being run over by this crazy car. The bomb later winds up going off when he's inside his Batman costume, though, with a Riddler message, what is the price for your blind eye, implying that he's going to make Batman suffer if Batman doesn't turn an eye to police corruption. They kind of end the trailer on that theme too, the Riddler trying to get the Batman tied up in his quest to get rid of corrupt people inside the system as opposed to Batman spending most of his time running around beating up common criminals on the street like you see him do elsewhere in the trailer. We get our first look at Catwoman stealing something from a rich person's house. It's hard to tell if this is Wayne Manor or if this is somewhere else. She has a version of a Catwoman suit on but just like Batman's suit, it seems like it's a beta version for something bigger that's coming later on. Her costume just seems very early version, much less refined than other versions of Catwoman's suit. This just seems like a scene of Batman getting ready to take out some mobsters running a deal at the East Side docks. We get a bigger voiceover from the Riddler who's using a very Batman style trick of modulating his voice so that it doesn't sound like Paul Dano's voice. This is what Paul Dano looks like, but in every time we see him during the trailer, he's bundled up with his face covered. Just asking Batman, if you are justice, please do not lie. Then you get a big montage of a bunch of different scenes. The gang painted up to look like skeletons that he fights, then him working on the Batman costume, and then Batman starting a fight inside the police department. This seems like footage of the Batmobile getting shot up on the street, Batman fighting Catwoman to try and stop her from stealing something. That's a scene out of the Batman Long Halloween comic book. Then you get that who are you scene. That's an Easter egg for the Michael Keaton Batman 1989 movie. Very iconic line. I think it made it into all the original trailers for that movie. Who are you? I'm Batman. Except Robert Pattinson's Batman replies, I am vengeance. Then just proceeds to beat him senseless for a couple more minutes before he stands up and just freaks out all the other gang members who are looking at him in horror like what just happened here. Then he fires up that giant engine in the new Batmobile. You get a little footage of him driving it around through a chase scene, just crashing through stuff. He soaks a gunshot in that chest plate of his. You get to see him use the grappling hook. You can kind of tell that they're trying to give you footage of all the different things and abilities that Batman is going to have during the movie. Then you get the official movie logo reveal in red. They actually revealed this a couple days ago too, so it's not that big of a surprise. But you get that tag scene of him in the Batcave taking the cowl off with the separate voiceover, probably from a different scene of the Riddler, just telling him that he's going to find out very soon how he's tied up in all this. In the very cool Riddler question mark Easter eggs for the 2021 release date. The movie's coming out in October next year, close to Halloween. It's based on the long Halloween, so even though it's a bummer that it got delayed, it was originally coming out in June, I feel like it's also appropriate to release it in October. It also gives off a very hardcore vibe, very dark version of a Batman movie. I felt like I didn't spot the penguin in any of this trailer footage, but if you did or you spotted any other major Batman Easter eggs that I didn't mention in the video, just write them below in the comments. 
Just to be clear how this connects to everything else, the movie is not supposed to be connected to the Justice League movies like the Justice League Snyder Cut, and Robert Pattinson's Batman is not meant to be a younger version of Ben Affleck's Batman. It's not a prequel movie or anything like that. The movie exists in its own separate continuity, so when Batman shows up in the next Justice League movie, it's supposed to be Michael Keaton's Batman from the multiverse. There were a bunch of other trailers, including a Flash movie teaser with a bunch of concept art for Michael Keaton's Batman with Ezra Miller's Flash. So I'll do breakdowns of all those other trailer videos. As long as you have alerts enabled for my channel, you should see those videos when I post them. Everyone, just let me know in the comments what are you most hyped up about for this new version of the Batman. And while you wait for everything, click here for that brand new Wonder Woman 1984 trailer video and click here for all my other DC fandom trailer videos like the Justice League Snyder Cut. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.